you got your first job when you were 19. And was it Lisa mm. Wilkinson that gave you your first job? Yeah, my God, how lucky was I? Like my absolute idol. I was a young girl reading Dolly and my favourite thing in it was, forget the models, I just w I wanted to be Lisa Wilkinson. You know, oh, she really? was, oh. Because she would have done she the She was the editor's note. letter and right. back then, like it's so funny if you looked at the pictures of her back then, she wore like, not quite, but practically reindeer jumpers, you know, yeah. like, and not in an ironic hipster way. She had long, long straight hair. Really? She had glasses. She just, fashion wasn't a commodity. It's not like editors now where you'd think that they were on right. the cover, you know, the wind machines and the airbrushing and the yeah, designer yeah. clothes. Editing wasn't like that right. um, in the 80s when she started. And so she was editing Cleo and, and she was just my idol. So, you know, even breathing the same air as her yeah. was a treat, let alone having getting to do work experience at Cleo. So how did you get in to do it with her then? I wrote a letter to her right. and like, you know, editors get so many of those letters. Yes. Yeah, so and I was just really lucky out. that... Um, she looked at it and, and she called me in and uh, she called me to meet me and she looked at it and she said, well, I see you went to Ascom, which is a private girls school in Sydney. You've just spent a year in Italy and your parents live in Vaucluse. So tell me why I shouldn't hate you. <laughs> and she said it in a light way, but she was basically saying, are you a princess? Yeah, right. You know, are you here to be princess or do you want to roll your sleeves up and work hard? Yeah. And I wasn't a princess, you know, I, mm -hmm. my parents had become um, financially successful when I was in my teens, but yeah. I hadn't grown up with a silver spoon under any circumstances. And I'd had, you know, jobs since I was 14 or 15. I'd, I'd worked as a checkout chick and I'd worked at Cherry Lane, a clothing store. And, right. you know, we'd always grown up with a really strong work ethic. So mm. I was there to work, man. I wasn't interested in the shoots and the fluffy stuff. I was interested in the craft of, of editing and, right. you know, learning as much as I could from Lisa, sucking sucking it all up like a sponge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then you got that Yeah, job. I just, I stuck around until she gave me an entry level job right. and just worked my way up and kind of lost my way when she left. Right, she okay. had, she, she had her first child came back and then when she had a second child, she left Cleo and she left magazines pretty much for good. Right. And I lost my mentor and I lost my champion and I stayed and I learned from from other editors that I had, but you know, I was very much passed over for promotion and I'd set this goal of being the editor of Cleo by the time I was 25, right. which I thought sounded positively elderly. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. But um, I was really competitive with myself. And mm -hmm. when it became clear that that wasn't gonna happen, I kind of you know, quit and decided I was gonna go and move overseas and work in New York. Oh, really? Yeah, and, and then, then I got, no, I didn't. I was about to, then I met my husband and I went just to talk to, to Cosmo about freelancing and I yeah. was offered the editing job of Cosmo. Yeah which Youngest. I started just before I was 25. So it was one of those things that... So you did end up doing it, but just I did, and I was lag. a... Bit, she says modestly, I was a better editor of Cosmo than I could have been for Cleo because I loved Cleo so hard. Right. And I loved Lisa and worshipped her so much that it would have been too much to step into that. Like I, I was right. carrying 20 suitcases of baggage of into Cleo. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it was great for me to come into a magazine that I didn't really feel strongly about. Yeah. Um, Cleo and Cosmo had always been fierce rivals and it meant that I had a really blank slate yeah. and I could sort of do with it whatever I wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. Which was great. And then three months God, later yeah. I got pregnant. Oh, really? Yeah, three months after I started.